During my third year at Wellesley College, I actually went abroad to Aix-en-Provence, France. Now, Aix-en-Provence is a very small college town in, in the south of France. It's a very lovely town. And、um, I went there actually to study French, not only French language and literature, but also French politics. In fact, I took classes at the、uh, University of Provence and also at the Institute of Political Science located in this town. I had a fantastic experience. In fact, first of all, I、uh, went to Paris for about six weeks before I went to Aix-en-Provence.、Uh, this was part of the、uh, junior abroad program. First, we went to Paris actually to,、uh, to、uh, get accustomed to French, French life and fr- French culture. I went there for six weeks and I took some classes and it was wonderful. I had a wonderful experience in Paris, which I think is one of the most beautiful cities, if not the most beautiful city in the world. I went all over the place in Paris. I visited all the very、uh, famous, beautiful museums, the、uh, Louvre, the,、uh, Musée, the, Mu- the Rodin Museum, and I, of course, saw the Eiffel Tower and I, I went all over. And I had a fantastic experience. It certainly、uh, improved my French, my spoken French, and also my、uh, written French. I also got to、um, understand and apply what I had previously learned in the classroom. And、um, I also got to see、um, a lot and understand a lot, of, a lot about French culture. And、uh, it was a fantastic experience for me. Uh, after those six weeks in Paris, I went, I then went with my、uh, group from Wellesley College to the south of France. We、uh, went to Aix-en-Provence and then I started taking classes at these two universities, which I had mentioned earlier. I took a variety of classes and in linguistics,、uh, French literature of all periods and、um, also French politics,、um, f- international law. And、um, I learned quite a bit from my experiences.、Um, actually, these courses were all year long and they met、uh, several times a week. I found that the course load actually wasn't too heavy.、Uh, of course, the courses were all in French. None of them were conducted in English, they were all conducted in French. All the work, work was in French. They were all taught by French professors at these universities. And I found that、um, actually there were quite a few people who were studying abroad at the time as well. Quite a few people who are from the United States and from other European countries, even other people from、uh, Asia as well, studying at these universities. I'd say it was pr- the, these schools were pretty much very、uh, international oriented, a lot of international students. So I had, actually I had the opportunity to meet, to meet people from all over the world there, not just French people. And during my time there, I,、um, actually, I actually didn't live with a French family, though maybe I should have. I had a roommate who was American, and it was a rule actually of this program that we had to speak French at all times. And we did. We stuck to this rule, and that's, that's how we were able to actually improve our French. And fortunately enough, I had the opportunity to visit many different parts of France, besides Paris, besides、uh, Aix en Provence. Also, I visited Nice, very beautiful. The beaches of Nice are gorgeous actually, just like from、uh, a dream. And also Avignon and Uh, th- and really,、uh, throughout, I went through the south of France, many parts of the south of France. And also, I went to Italy. I saw Rome, Florence, Venice. Italy is also an incredibly beautiful country. In fact, I think、um, Italy is basically, alongside France,、uh, the, two, the two most beautiful countries in Europe, in my opinion. And I had some incredible adventures in, in Italy. And、uh, Italian men were rather, they are rather notorious for their, for their exploits and they, they didn't prove me wrong when I went there. They fulfilled all my expectations, I would say. And I, of course, also got to see Austria, Vienna, the city of music. It's very lovely. And、um, Munich, where actually I visited my, one of my best friends in, in Munich. Very beautiful city, and I found that the Italians were above all the friendliest of, of、um, any other、uh, Europeans. And Germans were actually pretty friendly too, I thought. I thought that actually perhaps the French were among the, the least friendliest, but you know, I still had、um, a, a, a wonderful, wonderful time there. And after I came back from that year in France, I felt a little disoriented because after all, I had spoken French the whole year. 
and I hadn't spoken English for a whole year, so it felt a little strange coming back, coming back to the U.S. actually. And、um, I had a fantastic experience there. Luckily enough, I got to make some French friends with whom I still correspond. In fact, in fact, we write each other regularly. And、uh, next time I go to France, I, I hope to see them once again. I also、um, had the, the opportunity to go to France on my honeymoon. Actually, my honeymoon was about six or seven months ago. I got to go to Paris、uh, for about two weeks, and I went all over the place. I went to the various sites which I. Which I had missed the first time, such as、uh, the beautiful church Sacré Cœur, and、um, many other places I had missed the other time. And Paris was just as beautiful it was the first time that I went when I was about nineteen. And、um, yes, actually, I'm looking forward to going to France again for the、uh, third time. Hopefully, it won't be、um, too far into the future. And、uh, just to sum up,、uh, I believe that from my junior year abroad, I learned a considerable amount. I would certainly encourage all students to, to actually take a year or a couple of years off to visit another country or several countries. I think you definitely get a different perspective on life. I think you grow, you grow very much emotionally and、um, you become more mature, and you definitely get to to understand people of different cultures and, and you become more aware of what's going on in the world. I think you be able to begin to look at your own society, think about it, and question. What is what is good? What is bad? See if anything could be better, and it, it just opens up your mind in so many ways, and it was definitely well worth it. I very much love my time in France, and I'm so much looking forward to going back there again.